Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa, where I believe we weren't going to core this, correct? Yeah, we were wanting to give that to Armenia and Canada because uh, we don't want to core it and we can't core it. But we couldn't give it to Armenia and Canada just yet because that would put them over on their overextension. Yeah, so that's definitely the case there. We'll come back to that. That will be fine. We have a lot of cash right now and actually... When do we get the next level of Town Hall? Admin 22. Okay, that's going to be quite a while yet. Let's check to see if we can make any courthouses. Actually, we can, and we should. One of our colonial ventures ran into serious trouble, and we can spend just 50 ducats to bail them out. Done. We don't need 50 ducats. That is an irrelevant amount of money. Completely and totally irrelevant. What can we get for state houses? Okay, we'll continue to spam some of these out, even the zero reduction state houses. Cool. There we go. Consider that done. Fantastic. So at this point, we are just working on colonizing out over this way. There's a lot of colonization happening for sure. And that'll just continue going for a little while. We've got Armenian La Plata, we've got Armenian Brazil. And we've got Armenian Canada as our three colonial nations. And I do want to check in on how that institution spread is going. Printing press is... Oh, that's a lot of people entering a golden era all at once. Ashikaga, Ayataya, Brunei, Daiviet, Japan, Mongolia, Korea, Majapahit, Zhangzhou, Malacca, Mengyang, Patani. <laughs> wow, this is like almost everyone in Asia entered a golden era at the same time. Okay, that that's an interesting call. Hey, look, our governing cap is down under 10k. That's really good. We've cut that substantially at this point. I'm very, very happy about that one. We just converted Danzig, and we will continue to convert. Although we're starting to get down to just 0% religious unity conversions. Yeah, this is literally the last one, apparently. Oh, okay, that's that's interesting. Sure. Khmer entered a golden era, too. Now, we're currently on admin power as our focus. That's fine. We're working on filling out this admin tree. Cool. Our CB on Miami is going to go away, and I don't care about that. That's completely irrelevant. Interest per annum is okay, but we don't have loans, and we don't have any need of loans. We have so much money. Our merchants are suffering. Sure, we'll give them support. Possible advisors plus one isn't bad. Admin tech cost isn't bad either. But that's what we're really after. That 25% governing cap modifier. Let's do it. We can now grab bookkeeping, and we will definitely do so. Perfect. Now our institution spread speed is at 110%. It's still going to take a long time. <laughs> no doubt about that. We're going to gain an innovativeness here. Cool. How is our innovativeness, anyway? We're at 100 innovativeness. That's a lot. Okay, cool. So our admin tech, our admin power, rather, is going to remain low for a while. But we should start to see a good amount of our provinces embracing printing press here pretty soon. I mean, it's spreading slowly over this way, but... It's mostly over here that it's really spreading. So we should get that somewhat soon-ish, I hope. Malacca is having internal conflicts. I believe they also had a golden era. Oh, okay. Sure, if that's what they want to do. We can get a theologian and 50 admin power here. Plus 2% missionary strength. Consider that done. 2% missionary strength and 50 admin power? Happily. Iroquois Confederacy Separatists up over this way. Where are they actually? We just couldn't scroll up high enough. Uh, over here. Cool. We can roll up a new military leader. We did have one die. Uh, ooh, that's a solid one. 6512. Not great on maneuver, but the rest of those are pretty decent. Well, we're going to make our way up over this way. There we go. And they just get absolutely crushed. As expected, we'll take this back, and then we'll head back over to, like, Manhattan. I think that's about where we were before. Should be fine. Are we at our cap of manpower? Pretty much. May as well be. Okay. 
Sounds good. And we lost a general. It wasn't this one. Cool. <laughs> it was not the one that we just went for. Okay, so this next idea will come in pretty soon. The mercenary manpower is pretty irrelevant to us. We just want to keep working our way through this tree. As far as the next tree that we take goes, I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. We have a military idea group. That's interesting that this is full again. I guess because of divine ideas. This must be because we're a theocracy? Yeah, that's what this is. I've not actually seen this idea group before. So what does this actually do? What's the what's the unlock? Missionary strength versus heretics and Mobez loyal loyalty equilibrium. Okay. Yearly devotion and legitimacy, but legitimacy is devotion. Um, fire damage received. That's okay. Leader cost. Morale of armies. That's pretty good. Culture conversion cost and cost of enforcing religion through war. National unrest and national manpower modifier. So I think that overall that's a fairly mediocre idea group. But it's okay. It's it's not a bad idea group by any means. We're going to continue to colonize down over this way, of course. And let's just take as much land over here as we possibly can. Beautiful. The Bizarro Ottomans are, you know, doing a lot of work right now. I mean, we, we have a lot of territory to govern. The Huron Confederacy declared war on us again, and it still, well, not on us, on Armenian Canada. It still seems pretty ambitious. But that is going to allow us to clean up a lot of this. So we're going to enforce peace on them. They rejected, and now we are fighting them all, including Miami. Um, I'm not sure where all of these are. Potawatomi, Cahokia. Okay. Sure. This doesn't look too, too bad. We're going to walk in over here. I don't think we need to fight them with two armies. This should be reasonably fine. I'm going to roll up another general here, and we'll just make our way down over here. Cool. So I think this is completely okay. I don't think we're going to run into any major issues here. Okay. So that's the Miami army there. Where actually is Miami currently? I don't actually see them right now. I'm probably just blind. Oh, right here. Okay. Sounds good. There's a revolt up over here as well. We can deal with that too. No problem. So I'm going to send this force over to Miami. Cool. We're going to fight them potentially there, and we'll see if we actually do that. We'll grab our mercenary manpower. And this force, once they finish up here... Actually, I'm going to send them here. I think that Armenian Canada is going to go deal with this, which would be fine. Yeah, they don't want to fight that army. We're going to move up this direction. Cool. So obviously, this is all going to go to Armenian Canada in the end. Seems okay. So we're going to take out Miami here very shortly. And then, who else are we fighting here? Cahokia, where are you? Way up over here. Okay, they're, they're going to be a pretty minor concern for us. Okay, up over here as well. And Potawatomi is right here. So they're all up over this way. We've got a little bit of Confederacy territory over here. Okay. These guys can come cap here. Beautiful. This guy joins our court, or Merv gets a buff for a while. We'll have him join our court, but I don't know that we're going to do anything with him. It'll probably be, be just fine. We'll see how Armenian Canada handles this numerical disadvantage. They probably would have lost if Oneida had joined, but they didn't. Which is interesting. We'll go take over Roanoke. 
Fantastic. And then these guys, I'm going to start heading them way up north here. We won our siege here. Beautiful. And at this point, I want to head off over this direction and start dealing with these guys. We've almost got this war in the bag already, believe it or not. They're already trying to surrender. And we can accept the surrender of the Miami tribe. So we can flip that over to Armenia and Canada. And then we can go to Miami. And this is also held by Miami, but that's okay. We can grab something just like that. That's their entire area. Right? They'll be fully annexed? Yes. They'll be fully annexed. They would not currently accept this. Okay. We'll come back to it then. Yeah, minus 28 reasons. Because we haven't won battles, probably. So we're going to finish up this siege here. Is that part of that same province? Yes, it is. Okay. So that's done. Chesapeake has fallen. I'm going to flip all of these over here over to Armenian Canada. We don't want to hold these ourselves. So that was the Bizarro Ottomans there. Armenian Canada. There we go. It just didn't actually switch over. Sounds good. Okay. So at this point, we can convert another province. The unity is all the same. So we're just going to sort by time at this point. Cool. So this is occupied by us. Well, let's flip that over to Armenia and Canada. We don't want to hold this. So that's all fine. That's occupied by Algonquin separatists. Awkward. But we can get this converted on over. And I'd love to fight some of these guys up over here. That would be wonderful. Where's our third army at? Okay, they're almost here. Sounds good. Okay, so we're currently at 45%. This is insane. Look at that. Look at that morale differential there. That is nutty. Well, that's what tech does. So we're going to continue to pursue these armies. And we'll siege down over here. These guys have finished capping there. We're going to come down here and cap. Cool. Our allies are getting territories back. That looks all good. And we're going to head down this direction. This is our vassal, isn't it? Yes, this is our vassal. Okay, we won this siege here. We're going to continue to head out west and siege down their other territories. All looks good. We're at 64% war score at this time. Okay, they're going to maybe take back some territory over here. That's ultimately reasonably okay. We're going to try to flip around and keep these guys from sieging for the moment. And we'll arrive there very, very quickly. These guys will now come down. Beautiful. And now we just want to prevent them from sieging. So this is all looking good. That was a stack wipe there by Powhatan. What is Powhatan's mil tech at? They're at 11 compared to us at 14. So they're still lagging behind. Armenian Canada is currently at 13. They're a little behind as well. But our military power is definitely pretty overkill for this. We're going to continue to convert. It doesn't really matter the order in which we convert at this point. So that's all great. This will get flipped over to Armenian Canada. I kind of doubt we're going to take anything way out here, but we'll flip it regardless. And we'll see what we can actually end up getting. Cool. We want to battle down here. Okay. Their war enthusiasm just bumped back up, which is interesting. We, lo we lost this general. I kept trying to select this army, and it kept not working. But we're going to head up this direction. Um, That is... Oh, we don't have military access there. Okay. No military access means we don't need to do anything there. We won this siege, and now we're going to head out over here. Done. Okay, looks like we catch these guys. Beautiful. 
They're going to have a wide combat width, but we just crush them with those shock phases. That is nutty. Okay, we're going to head out over this way. These guys are going to get caught. And we'll just make our way up this direction. That was a stack wipe. These guys are going to get caught. We're going to move this army over here in case these guys try to do anything evil. We'll see if they do. Probably they won't. And by evil, I mean slightly inconvenient. <laughs> that is the definition here. Okay, they're retreating back to here. Sure. Okay. We're going to finish up this siege, and then we're going to start separate piecing out these guys. Can we do it now? Okay, let's go back to Miami here. They would still not accept this. Okay. That's very interesting. I guess we need to finish this siege. Okay. So we're just going to park here for the moment. This siege will finish up now. And let's flip that on over to Armenian Canada and this on over to Armenian Canada as well. We're at 99% overall war score here and we can grab ourselves an additional advisor, which wouldn't be a bad thing. Okay. At this point, you interested, Miami? They are not. Do they have one of our provinces occupied? I don't see one occupied. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. These guys are not co-belligerents, but... Let's see. Yeah, that's all they've got there. Okay, let's take a look in here. I guess it's because of the tribal land, maybe? No, this is all they have. And this is tribal land. Hmm. Okay. Two reasons, huh? Well, we don't have this occupied. So we'll get that, and we'll see if that finishes it. Yeah. That's it. Okay, I'm just blind. Sounds good. So at this point, we're going to take everything that they've got here. And yeah, we may get a coalition. We don't care. This is only Miami. Then we are going to go against... Or rather, we're going to have to tick forward a couple of days here. We only have the one diplomat at the moment. So, it's going to take a little time. Okay, we're going to move these guys back. Why are you black flagged? I guess they moved in. Okay. We're going to move these guys back over this way. We'll spread them out once they get there. And we'll have to wait for this diplomat to come back. Actually, we could definitely pull back this diplomat. And we'll go ahead and do so. We got a conversion done. And we are going to continue to convert. There we go. Okay, we have a diplomat now, and we are going to piece out these guys. We can't core any of this. So we can't actually take anything from them. So for these guys, we are better off making them our vassal. Done. Okay. Next up, we're going to have to wait for another diplomat to come back here in 35 days. So that'll be done shortly. Eight more days. Hey, rain's bringing fertility. And we now have too many diplomatic relations, but that's expected. And now, yeah, we, we know that they're surrendering. We're, we're trying to get it dealt with, game. We can only do this so quickly. So Potawatomi here, this is going to go to Armenian Canada. And to Bizarro Ottomans for the tribal land. Okay. Done. This is part of Colonial, Colonial Louisiana. So I think that's reasonably okay. I would like... That's Colonial Eastern America. That's Louisiana. 
Okay. I would like to get a colonial nation down here. So we're going to move a bit towards that. I think I'm going to have this come back to Bizarro Ottomans and this come back to Bizarro Ottomans and basically like everything over here comes back to us. And then this stuff up here, that's just cleaning up border core and that can go to colonial, colonial Canada here. So that'll be fine. 15 more days. Okay, Diplomat is back. Now we're going to go for Cahokia, and we can't really do anything there, so we're going to make them be our vassal. Yes, we're going to be paying quite a bit in diplomatic relations. We're working on it. Oh, we don't have enough war score to offer that, of course. We need to pull this back a bit. There we go. And now we're going to have to wait 48 more days before we end this war. Let's go. 25. 15. Five more days. If there wasn't a month tick there. Okay, there we go. And... Mm, we don't need the prestige. We don't need the duckus either, but I guess we'll take that. So, at this point, we definitely want to annex, like, everything up here that we can. It's awkward that some of this is... Uh, the way that it is but we're just going to select everything in here that we can can we get everything that they have now some of this is just seeding claims we already have the land but they would be seeding their claim to it in a lot of these cases and you can tell that because there's going to be no overextension Okay, um, let's go ahead and not take some of this tribal land here to make it possible to take this. We need to get rid of one more. Now it's 13%. Now it's 13% apparently. Okay, we'll, work, we'll get rid of some of this tribal land. And... There's a bit of a rounding issue there, but there we go. And now we can take some of this tribal land back. There we go. Cool. We should have all the tribal land anyway. So we're just going to do that. Beautiful. There we go. There's a little bit up there still, but that's fine. Now, eh, we're going to be a little overextended here. I'm hoping... that a colonial nation forms, but it looks like it's not going to. Sad. I'm not shocked about that, to be clear, but it is sad. Okay, so we are working on annexing Roman Transalpine Gaul, and that's fine. We're going to need to start working on annexing some of these Native American tribes as well. I mean, that aggressive expansion is going to be tough. <laughs> Really, really tough. It's probably not going to end up being a thing. We do have too many diplomatic relations. Our colony down here became self-sustaining, and that's great. It looks like we're not going to get any colonial nation down here just now. So we will start to work on coring some of these. It's reasonably cheap, but not super cheap. Actually, this isn't bad in terms of cost. Yeah, that's not bad at all. This is way, way better. So that's great. It is, however, about time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we might use this newfound knowledge of how cheap coring is now to go after some more African provinces. We'll see. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, Sigma162, JJ Gamer, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Kadra, Raw Potato, Elmichi Nazi, Justin Everett, Emiliano Cambron, Martin Lawrence, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, 
I will see you all next time.